Moody Radio. My name's Kurt Goff. You're just joining us. Allie Tower is with us live. She's a former witch, and uh, she now is lifting up the cross of Jesus Christ. Taken from the Night is uh, her first book, the second one just out, From the Craft to Christ. As we head into Halloween, I thought it might be really helpful to have Allie with us, and she's going to be taking some of your questions here in just a few minutes. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Did you ever have an encounter with um, the demonic realm where you knew, uh uh-oh, this is not good, this is evil, and I I mean, literally, I can tell this is, is real, this... This whole thing of the demonic realm, did you have an experience perhaps of uh, a presence of one of these spirit beings or something like that? Did you ever go through this? Well, I can say that there were many times that um, there were spiritual entities that, you know, that I did encounter. At the time, it wasn't something that I was fearful of. It wasn't something that I felt was, um, you know, like a bad thing. It was more, you know, like... They're friends. They're mm. good people, um, or good, you know, entities. It was, you know, you worked with spirit guides, and um, that was someone there to help you and to guide you, and to, you know, give you um, insight in uh, along the path. So it wasn't really like I ever felt that it was a darkness. Hmm. That's very interesting because I mean, there's, we're learning a lot here. I mean, because there are certain things, certain stereotypes, perhaps, that we have been uh, believing as Christ followers that may not be totally true when it comes to witchcraft. And this is this is valuable on so many levels. Maybe you know somebody who's involved with Wicca, and you don't even know where to begin. Uh, but but also, we know that, and, and Allie would be the first one, well, we're going to talk about this after we take a short break, but uh, when you open the door to the, you know, the dark side then you are going to uh, deal with some very real evil. And uh, it could be deceptive at first. I mean, Satan masquerades as an angel of what? An angel of light. And so it's it, the way it sucks you in, the deception, it can be very deep. We're going to take your calls uh, in, in just a few minutes. Don't, don't go to the phones yet. We want to continue to unpack the story. Allie Tower is with us. From the Craft to Christ is uh, her latest book, and, and we've got a link on our Facebook page so that you can check out uh, her uh, her website and find more information about uh, what she's doing. She's also been writing some excellent editorials for the Christian Post online, christianpost.com. Back with Allie in a moment. So Allie, what about, um, how many years were you involved in witchcraft? Was it about 10 yeah, it was uh, a little over 10 years. I was initiated and in working within a coven. And, um, you know, I thought that my life was good. I thought I was happy. And um, that would all change with a dream I had about Jesus. Tell us about that. Well, um, it was, of course, one night I was asleep. And the the dream was that Jesus came to me. and I And I basically just saw his face. And his eyes just looked right through me. They just pierced my soul. Um, And he asked me a question. He said, "Um, who do you say that I am? And I totally freaked out. And it was one of these so vivid, so real dreams. You know, I can't say that I've ever had a dream that was so real. And I just, like, literally jumped up out of bed, and I was shaking, and I was all upset, and I was like, you know, okay, this is just a dream. I'm trying to calm myself down. I tried to go back to sleep. It happened three times. And after the third time, I was just like, you know, okay, I don't know, but I'll find out. And with that, it was quiet, and it was peaceful, and I was able to go back to sleep. And I think the thing that really like, got to me more than anything, is that, you know, he was asking me a personal question. It wasn't about, you know, I knew that, of course, Christians saw him as the Savior and the Son of God, and I knew that Wiccan saw him as a teacher or a prophet, Mm -hmm. but I knew that this wasn't about what Christians thought. It wasn't about what witches thought. It was about what I thought. He was asking me a personal question, and and I was afraid to answer. <laughs> you know, I was really, no. really fearful because I didn't want to. I didn't want to say the wrong answer. I kind of knew in my spirit enough 
not to say the wrong answer, but, I, you know, I wasn't quite at a point where I wanted to say the right one either. So I just kind of, you know, you would think that that would be as traumatic as that was, and it was indeed, um, that I would just, you know, give my life right back to him right then and there. Sure. But I didn't. I um, I did call the pastor of the church that I used to go to, and, um, you know, I had been, I had been, had the scripture Matthew 18 applied to me where I was uh, kicked out of church um, because of my practicing witchcraft. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I called the pastor and I told him about the dream and I was expecting him to say, it's not, it's not of God. It's just a dream. You just had a dream. And, um, you know, I'm trying to justify within myself, why would God want to talk to me? I'm a witch, you know? Yeah. And, you know, I called him up, and he said, you know, I really believe God's speaking to you, and you need to give him an answer. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was just totally over overwhelmed, and uh, he invited me back to church. So I did go back to church for a little while and uh, was kind of in this search search mode of where I was trying to find out, you know, to answer the question, really, who was he to me personally? Yeah. 